Well, good morning to you, Guy Watson here, Bognor Regis Bonsai. Just like to start off with a couple of updates. Now then, on my last video, I tried to sort out this Orange Dream Acer, and I said I'd leave it out on the, this bench just outside the back door whenever I came out to have a look at it. Well, I had a look at it, and after considering reports from people like Kenneth de Bont and Gay, they said it's too tall, and I quite agreed. So what I've been doing, I've been cutting it back, like here, and there's another pr fresh shoot coming out there, so that's gone. That one up there had to be cut off. This one here had to be cut, but there's another branch coming off, another shoot coming out there. I've generally got the whole lot down a bit. And I think in the future, as Kenneth said, little shoots will start sprouting out and I'll have a nice little tree looking there. Anyway, that's what's happened to the Japanese maple orange dream. Right, let me show you another one. Well, here's another one I did some work on recently. And um, it's the one where I did a lot of carving around it with my Apollo machine, all around down here. And the comment was made that I'd flaming well nearly... Oh, uh, what's this? Uh, circle barked it or ring barked it. But I'm glad to say that there is shoots coming on it. I say I think this is a wide gila. But I'm glad to see the shoots coming on that side because I was a bit worried about the ring barking. But I'll probably have to repot this in the very near future. Right, so that's another quick update. And I just thought I'd show you this one before I do any work on other ones because I'm not going to work on this one. But this is my sycamore forest. And it is starting to look quite pleasant at the moment. It's starting to leaf out round the back here. And I've got high hopes for this little forest. In the future I want to put it into a shallow mica pot, mica oval. But just for now, I think that's looking very nice. It's got a lot of potential, this for a sycamore. Keep, I'll keep you in touch just to show you how the leaves, hope, hopefully touch wood, stay smallish because the roots are very constricted in this pot. But we'll keep you informed on this one and see how we go. And actually while we're talking sycamores I thought I'd just show you this one. I don't know if you've actually seen this one before, but um, it, it is another sycamore. I do need to try and get a branch coming out from here. I think a bird sat on this one and just left me a little stub rather than the branch. But I think this is looking quite nice. Well, again, at this time of year, small leaves. They'll probably get large, but we'll see how those go on. But that's got potential as well for a sycamore tree. Right, let's see what I can do next. Cheers for now. And another quick update before I get on to today's project. It's not really an update. We had a club meeting last night and it was a, a workshop and so I took along my juniper. It was all bushy and horrible. Pinch a couple more out here. There we go. But let's give you a quick spin of this, which I did last night. The Juniper Old Gold, which I bought at the club auction for about £14, sometime before lockdown. But I've had a go at it and I think it's come out to be quite a nice little tree. The shape of it is looking very nice. It's a nice triangular shape now, because I've bent all this lot around. It's looking nice. Alright, it was originally, I think I've shown this before, I bought it at an auction, i say three, three years or three or four years ago, and it was originally from a chap who tried to make it into a cascade. Uh, not a cascade, a windswept. And he had this vertical going out that way, with all the branches spread over there. But I wasn't too keen on the look of that. So once I'd got it, we, tr we repotted it, put the tr trunk at a slant, and made this tree up. And I think it's come out to be looking quite well. Anyway, a nice little juniper old gold. And as I, this branch was coming more straight out, 
But the, the chap who actually owned it said, that would look nice if you bend it around and made it so that nothing's poking towards you. It shows the front trunk off. And I think he was right. And I think there's a lot more than 30% off the tree. Which they normally say, do not cut foliage more than 30% off a juniper. But let's see how this goes on. I'll let you know next year. Or until it, or if it sprouts in this year. Right, OK. Thank you very much indeed. Well, hello there, Guy Watson. Right, well, what we have here today is an Acer compass tray, or a field maple, which I've got to repot later on. There are some nasty-looking roots. Don't quite know what they're doing in there, so I'll have a look at those when I get them out. But they're starting to girdle around the thing, and I don't really like the look of that. So, let's just give it a quick tidy up, then we'll think about the repotting. Oh, I've got some scissors here, which might be easier. There we go. Um, um, in here we can cut this one back, taking out the centre centre piece. This one here is too long, isn't it? So I'm tempted to take it back to there, but I've got to have some form of leafage left. There we go. Right. Oh, and this one up here we can take off the top. I think that's tidied up nicely. There's an old stub there we can take out. Uh, there's too many up here, so we're going to have to get rid of some buds. Clean it up a bit. Can't have too many coming from the same point. It might be better to rub them off. There we go. Same, prob same problem with all aces. They do tend to all sprout out a lot from the same joint. And we've got the same here, haven't we? So I think this one here can come off. Leave a bit of room to die back. Now I'll just tidy up the cut here. There. Right. Let's have a let's take the take the fertilizer baskets off. Do that easy. And um, then we'll have a look at the repotting. Right, back in a minute. Right then, well here we go. Let's see what we can find. Oh, make sure it's not tied in. No, it's not. Oh, it's been in this pot a while. Let's see if anything will move. Oh, there we go. Right, I'll wash that up in a minute. See what I don't like the look of this root. I said something's got to be done with that. So I'll get this done now, and then um, in a few hours, a couple of hours' time, we have got the Grand National the horse race. So although I'm not a gambling man, I've had a go on my local hostelry sweepstake, two pounds. I've got a beating of the waves. Beating of the waves. I'll watch the race anyway, just see if that tops up. I only stand a chance of winning £30 maximum. Even if it comes in last though, the last across, last across the line wins a free pint off the landlord. So that's a nice little touch. Not a lot to be made. 30, 20, 10, 8 and a free pint. So there's five chances of winning something, which is the way gambling should be. I'm not a horse gambler though, it's the only race I look at. Anyway, that's later on though. Uh, screen that can come out. Oh, and another one. So it's been quite a while since I've done a tree. I'm afraid we've been a, quite heavily underwater down here. 
on the south coast of England. At least our local supermarket's back open again. OK, I think it's time to go and give the roots a wash. We don't need this here, so we'll chop that off before I go over to the washing station. I need a bucket. Clean this up, go and wash it off, then we'll be back. Back in a minute. OK, well here we are after the washing. Now then, it's showing even more. This root that comes out, it does actually split and go the other way as well. Actually comes out and then split, turns back on itself. So trees there and the roots coming out, they're going either side. But anyway, this one, this side, I think, that's no good at all. So that side of it has to come off. There we go. I don't know what else is coming off with it. There we go. Oh, it's left quite a few roots still there. See, the root base looks horrible to be honest. And there are nasty roots underneath here. That can come off. I'm going to try and flatten down this base somehow. There, that's better. This root here is way too fat and too vigorous. That needs to be cut right back. Since I've cut that, I'm going to give it a quick, another quick wash, see if we can clear up a bit more. OK, well after that second wash, now I was thinking of putting it back in the same pot, but having a look at this, this root coming right round here and all the main roots of the tree are coming off that coming off this thick one here so there's no way I can do anything about that apart from for now just shorten it a bit and instead of putting it back into the same pot what I think I'm going to have to do is put it back into um, a pond basket hopefully get some roots to come from here at this sort of level and eventually I can get rid of this lot, other lot from down here from there downwards. This is just a mess of roots but it's needed just for now to keep the tree alive but putting it in that pot and hopefully encourage the roots to grow from there and there. We'll get the root flare coming in down the trunk from there and there. And I think that has to be the way to go so I'm just going to leave the roots like that for now because all that will be going and then we'll repot it into this one. So we'll do that now. Let's just get that away to one side. There it is. Right, then we can put some soil in there. This is just a recovery mode, I think, to get the roots to grow from up this level which is going to be the new hopefully the root, new root plane just looking for the chopstick as per normal so it's just certainly a few years to be left in the ground for this tree glad I looked at the roots though cut off that big main one had to leave the other one. That I think is about all I can do with that for now. Now we'll clear this lot up, we'll just get some water, we'll water it, then I'll put some rocks on it. Okay, well let's, here we go with the water. Get it running through. very 
very freely now. Put the stones on it. That should hold it. And there we go. That'll do for that little Acer Campestre. Put it back on the bench for a couple of years. Try and grow that upper plate of roots. Haven't really decided which side the front might like it to be. Possibly round about there. But we'll have to wait and see once it grows. Okay, lovely. Thank you very much indeed. Cheerio for now. I'm sorry, I realised when I was doing the editing of this that I'd forgotten to give you a final... Well, I'd missed. I just gave you a 360 of the stones in that trunk. But I thought I'd give you a 360 now of the whole tree. I think roughly there I'll think of the front. But there's the whole tree looking around. And round again. There is some more trimming away to be done later on, on the branches. But just for now I think I'm going to leave it. Just got to wait for those roots to recover and hopefully grow some fresh ones. Right, there we go then. The final 360, eventually. Thank you very much. Cheerio.